Hello, I'm Orson Iqbal and I work for Keoli Semi Metrolink. I work as a tram systems engineer within the rolling stock department. Rolling stock is basically anything that operates on the tracks, in this case the trams. So just to backtrack through time, my career in engineering began when I completed my undergraduate degree in mechatronic engineering. This was at the University of Manchester. After which I began hunting for a job. I wanted a job basically in anything related to engineering. It took me about a year, over a hundred applications and only four interviews before I landed the position as a project engineer within the oil and gas industry. Three years later, I was promoted to project manager within the same company where I looked after large projects from design all the way through to delivery. In parallel to working as a project manager, I completed my master's degree in mechanical engineering part-time in which I achieved a distinction. From this, it opened up many opportunities within more technical roles and it is when I transferred from the oil and gas industry into the world of rail. I worked for a company called Alstom as an optimization engineer. If you've ever travelled from Manchester to London on train, it is that very train system that I've worked on, specifically making the maintenance of them better. I worked there for around two years before moving to Metrolink in my current position. So, as a systems engineer for Keoli Saini Metrolink, I handle all mechanical and electrical related issues on the trams. I help to come up with a solution to ensure it is safe and reliable for service. I also help to innovate modifications if there are any improvements that would need to be made. There are currently 120 trams that operate on the biggest tram network in the UK, which stretches over 65 miles of track across Greater Manchester. Millions of passengers are bored the tram each year, so keeping them in a safe and reliable condition is critical. This is one of the reasons why I have been classed as a key worker during the COVID-19 lockdown situation. That's because the trams are still required to run to ensure other key workers are still able to get to and from work. However, my working life has completely changed in that I now dominantly work from home. Being in the position I'm in, I'm able to utilise technology such as video conferencing to be able to communicate with the workshop to identify and solve problems. I still do go into work once a week because as you can imagine, not all tasks are possible to be done at, at home as an engineer. This situation has been really challenging for everyone, however my advice will be to keep it simple. Work hard, have a clear goal that you would like to achieve and is realistic. I, al I always wanted to be an engineer, that was my goal. So I made sure I got my education done and I made sure that I didn't lose motivation when I got rejected from so many job applications. It makes it that much more rewarding when you finally land that dream job in the end. Please do not ever hesitate to ask for help. This is one common reason why many young people fail, is because the thought of asking for help was seen as a weakness. It really isn't. The most successful people always ask others for their opinion and how they can better themselves. I still find myself asking my colleagues for help, even though I have been in a professional job for almost 10 years. There is always something new to learn every single day. Well, thanks for watching and I hope you found this useful. If you have any questions, please do get in touch.